श्री के टी एस तुलसी yes please very 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 well thank you sir i am sorry that i am i hold a different view from my worthy speaker who spoke just now and she delivered an outstanding speech but i rise to support this bill i believe that this bill has struck a perfect harmony between the need for stringence and also taking care of the rights of children there was there is such a evidence of throughout the world the age age limit of the children because of the fact that the children are growing up faster they are getting mature much earlier therefore in if when we look around the rest of the world we find that the bill is in fact still erring on the side of caution and is not give, giving up the rights of children in any manner according to the the in, in england and wales for ser several offences the children above the age of 10 are found are held to be criminally liable above the age of 10 in australia the prescribed age is 14 to 18 for children to be responsible for their actions under the criminal law in the united states many of the states have the age of 12 years for holding the children responsible for criminal acts in Ju in in new york and in texas the age is 17 in bangladesh it's 16 in denmark it's 15 and the psycho psychologists now feel that the children are grown up enough at the age of by the age of 14 to be responsible for the action, for their actions there has been 67.2% increase in the crimes committed in the murders committed by young people between the age of 16 to 18 and th this is in the last 10 years after we adopted this law in 2000 there has been a sudden spurt in the in the in the crimes that are committed by children or the murders which are committed by children between the age of 16 to 18 there has been a 30 30.8 percent increase in, in these cases in just one year. In for, there has been 49.8% increase in the cases of rape committed by people between the age of 16 to 18. And in just one year, 2010 to 2011, there has been an increase, a sudden jump of 34% of these. So therefore, I, I commend the minister for having crafted a legislation which takes care of the rights of the children and at the same time ensures that they are they are held liable for their criminal acts and this she has been able to achieve without amending the definition of a child the definition of the child remains the 18 years of age the definition, the definition of a child in conflict with law remains 18 years. That has not been changed. The, the definition of heinous offenses are those which are punishable with seven years or more and are prescribed as offenses under the penal code. The definition of a juvenile in clause 35 of, of, of clause 2 Subclause 35 is also 18 years. So I don't understand why are we willing to state that the rights of children are, being sac are going to be sacrificed. 
I would like to refer to the provisions in section in, in clause 15 where the preliminary assessment into the heinous offense committed by a child is required to be made. And there are three ingredients of that. The first is the mental and physical capacity. It will have to be evaluated before a child can be tried for the heinous offenses. And even the children's board has been given the powers of the sessions court. And, and they, will, they will then try him. The, it is not that he will be tried in the ordinary court. It is not that they will be kept in the ordinary prison. It is only that they will be liable for having committed those offenses if they have the mental and physical capacity. The second ingredient is that they must understand, they must be found to have, under, have the mental and physical capacity to understand the consequences of their actions. And the third factor which has to be taken into account is that the circumstances in which he has allegedly committed the offense. So therefore, it is, it is on the basis of the reports of the psychologists and the psychosocial workers that this assessment will be made. This assessment is only a preliminary assessment, not itself a trial. The trial will follow thereafter. So I believe Clause 21 also states that they will, not, they will not be sentenced to death or life. So therefore, it is only those, those offenses which are punishable with seven years or up to 10 years because life imprisonment cannot be awarded, death sentence cannot be awarded. This is a perfect legislation and will meet the expectation of the society. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mr. Tursi. Sir, our uh, request is that at 5 the discussion hai, उसको कंप्लीट कर लिया जाए उसके बाद ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर का रिप्लाई हो जाए और उसके बाद जी हम बोलिए ना अभी आधा घंटा है बोलिए डोंट वरी उसके बाद जो है वो ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर जो है वो अपना रिप्लाई दें उसके बाद वोटिंग हो जाए There are 12 people who want to speak on this, sir. Please allow everybody a chance to speak. We, it's a serious issue. It's a, it's, a, it's a fascinating debate. We must listen. We can't do all this fast forward, sir. No, no, no shortcuts, sir. You can sit and debate and you pass your bill, but don't do shortcut. Please, don't do shortcut. Now, the point is, are they coming? See, Mr. Derek, when the discussion started, I myself made the suggestion that total time may be reduce but then no at that time i made the suggestion then it was not agreed to i don't know what to do now now 